People try and fake caring. Everyone knows they're faking. <laughs> you, you can't fake caring for people. If you don't care, then practice caring. <laughs> Because <laughs> it, it can't be fake. It has to be genuine. Or you need to find a different environment to work in. Or maybe you're not cut out to be a manager or a leader. But in today's world, unless you genuinely care about the success of others, you're not going to be very successful. If you were to really ask me for a learner, does he have to read the 25,000 books or something to understand what leadership is about? Yes and a no, if you had the time and the energy, do it. But predominantly, if I was to encapsulate you, the little joke I always share with people is, remember my name, Adil Malia, A-D-I-L, abbreviated, M-A-L-I-A. -A. So number one, a leader to be effective has to be agile, he has to drive passionately for the purpose, he has to be innovative, and he has to be a learner. That stands for the abbreviation of the name. And the second abbreviation that people ask is, what do leaders do? Because that, that's the question, what are the leaders supposed to do? So it says, most aspirational leaders inspire action. So your job is not to do the job. So a leader who says, I'm going to push the cart because the cart movement from here to point A to point B is the purpose of the organization and I'm pushing the cart, I'm sorry to say you're not a leader. Number two is he has to inspire. Why inspire? Because in an organizational political power system, you are sitting in a position of power. I think the environment has a great way of making leaders learn uh, to A, uh, not shoot their mouths off, uh, to listen carefully, and the way forward. It's not just enough to give inspiring speeches. It's not just enough to say, this is the fantastic way. We're going to be so big in five years. Yeah, yeah, for a moment I feel good, and then I go back to my everyday life, and I. I realize that I'm not getting there. So taking that piece and breaking it down and then empowering people to do it, I think that's the secret to leadership. And uh, I think build your strong team. I will not say about the corporate world, but I would always say and uh, it's about overconfidence. That's what I tell my daughters also always. Because we are seeing a generation which is a little impatient and it's important to be impatient, but I think consistency is very, very key to what we do. And passion and attitude. I mean, that's going to take you a long, long way. The myth is we manage people. The reality is we manage no one. Because no one likes to be managed. When a person leaves you at the end of a transaction or at the end of a conversation, he or she should feel enriched that yes, Wow, I've gained something out of this. Yeah. You know, there was a point of view. I've learned something different. Why did I not think of this? I need to go and talk to this person again. Yes, he was of a value add. Wow, what energy he gave me today. So I think People want a, to keep coming back. So those are the yes. things. So it's a combination of they believing in you more than you believing in yourself. Their belief is a provocation for you to do more with who you are. And I think that's how you step by step, in simple ways, go higher and higher. 